change with the millennials and the uh, uh, the um, new generation. I don't know. But people don't like people with facial hair to run for office. And to prove my point, I believe, and I had said this when we presented this at the conference, I believe Dr. Cornell West is a th kind of an off-party candidate trying to run. I could look at him and tell he's not going to win. He's not going to get any votes. If he does, it's people that liked him already. Why? He doesn't have the right look. He has uh, his hair. He has afro. He has a goatee, and he wears glasses. So you take a guy that's – I'm taking a controversial figure in the news right now, P. Diddy. Yes. P. Diddy would not be president more so because of his facial hair than character right. issues. I mean, how exactly. messed up is that? You know, it's exactly. And 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 now there's another side to this too. The younger generation, we may see a shift in the next ten years. The younger generation don't feel like you're a cool guy if you don't have a beard or goatee, like a jazz musician. You're cool cat with the glasses. Remember when Bill Clinton played the saxophone on uh on Arsenio? Arsenio. Yeah, I remember that. Right. He scored a he scored many points. They like that's the cool president. So when you look at the two candidates that we have, who's the cool president? Donald Trump. He's the yeah. cool guy. It's not everybody agrees with that. Excuse me. But it's just really uh, 